so welcome back once again to my youtube channel as you can see i am smiling and i am very happy why because we have been on a four straight winning we won our games yesterday our two odds were successful yesterday and the three odds in which was the full-time draw only god know how zamalek came up scoring six goals in which it has never happened in their history. Zamalek scoring six goals at home has never happened because I went through all their records. Zamalek has not scored six goals. So yesterday was looking impossible, but God made it possible. The game, based on my statistics and analysis, I said both teams to score. It was, it was more sure and more confident compared to the full-time draw. And I said Zamalek is going to be winning that game. I told you guys yesterday. And I said Zamalek will win and other contractors will definitely score. In which Zamalek bullets these guys what is not good. Like they were scoring these guys mercilessly. And God helping us, other contractors were able to record one goal from the six goals being scored against them. So we thank God for yesterday. We we'll keep on pushing forward. And there's just one thing I want to request. Please, you know the season has not resumed. And it's not easy to keep a very good consistency with very, very tight games. So the only thing I've been asking from you guys, I've not asked for your money. I've never said once you win, give me all your money. No. Just like the video. Click the like button. That is all. Please and please, that is just the support I need from you. Hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, do ensure you hit the subscribe button. So let's dive straight to today's games. I have three games for us for today, and they are just 2.30 odds. Uh, we pray for success. So, the first game for today, before I continue, if you want to join my Telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. So, today's games, the first game for today is from the Latvia Vest Liga, and we have the team to be Dwalgafils oh Dwag, versus Supernova. <laughs> Duagalfields versus Supernova. And um, before I call my predictions for you, let's run through their statistics. This is from the Latvia Liga, Versch Liga. First of all, um, Duagalfields sits at um, ninth position, while Supernova are last, in which is the 10th position on the table. I'll be very fast. And um, Duagalfields has played 20 games, winning four, drawing six, losing 10. Scoring a total of 28 goals and conceding 32 goals. While Supernova has played um, Supernova has played 20 games, they just won 2 out of the 20 games. They've drawn 1 and lost 17 games. A very bad and poor record. They've scored 17 goals and conceded 63 goals. Very bad. So, one thing you will note here that this Supernova are very good in goal scoring and they score less and they concede more. While Duagafios are good in goal scoring and also good in conceding. So, let's look at the home form for Duagafios. We have Duagafios has played 11 games at home, winning 3, drawing 5 and losing 3. They've scored 19 goals at home and conceded all the whole 19 goals at home also. While Supernova at away has played nine games at home, sorry, at away, they've played nine games at away and lost the whole total nine. Wow. They've lost the whole nine games, scoring seven goals and conceding 26 goals. So let's look at their last five games for the both teams. Dwagafius has played five games, drawing one, drawing two, losing two, winning one. And the last five games that Duagafis played, they had the both teams to score. Coming to Supernova, the last five games Supernova played, they lost all. Very, very bad. So, my prediction goes like this. Before I call the prediction, let's look at their head-to-head. -head. The last five games they played against themselves, Duagafis won, Duagafis won. Duagafis won also, three straight. The Duagafis lost and Duagafis won. The last five games they played, the Duagafios has won four times while they've lost once. So, my prediction for this game is, after everything I've said, this is just the surface of the analysis. I've done the deeper one, going through everybody's statistics, um, 
I've gone through all their statistics more compared to this one I'm giving to you. This is just the surface. I don't want to waste your time. So my prediction for this game is Duagafis to win at full time at 1.35 odd. Duagafis have the edge to win this game because Supernova has been conceding badly, losing games. They have not won any single game at away. And Duagafis sits at ninth position with a very very low point and they'll be looking forward to leave that position because the season for them will soon be over and relegation is what they are trying to avoid while supernova only having eight points in the table has lost has been relegated to be honest they have nothing to fight for so we believe based on these statistics duagafi should come out with the win so heading to the next game in which is from the egypt premier league we have al alil versus el ismail so, if I call my predictions, Al-Alil has been in an outstanding form, one of the best teams I've ever seen this season in the Premier League, in any league you want to talk about. This Al-Alil has been in an amazing form. You understand? The total games they do play in the EG Premier League is 37. Al-Alil has not lost a single one. I've been following them very well. I've been tracking their record. Al-Alil has been in a very perfect form. Now, let's head to the table. Al-Alil are first in the table, in which almost all of us know who Al-Alil is and how they play. YL Ismail sits at 13th in the table. Now, let's look at Al-Alil's game. Al-Alil has played 27 matches, winning 21, drawing 6, and losing 0. YL Ismail has played 31 games. Now, look at the game's difference. Al-Alil has played... 27 Why El Ismail has played 31. Why Al Alil are short of games is because they have been playing the CAF tournament in which they won it, so it shortens their game and they are trying to play as fast as they can. So El Ismail has played 31 games, winning 7, drawing 13, and losing 11, scoring 30 goals and conceding 36 goals. Very bad record. So now, Al Alil, sorry, El Ismail are in minus six goals. They don't have any goals. They are owing goals. Why Al Alil has scored 51 goals and conceding just seven. So, looking at Al Alil home form, Al Alil has played 14 games at home, winning 10 at home, drawing four, and losing zero. In the space of the 14 games, Al Alil has scored 23 goals and conceded four. While, um, El Ismail at Iwe has played 15 games, winning 3, drawing 7, and losing 5, scoring 16 goals and conceding 21. So let's look at the head-to-head. -head. The last 5 games Al Alil played, they draw against Future, in which was like 2 days ago. They won 3 straight and they drew 1-1 one, one in a club. Yeah, in their Champions League, CAF Champions League, they played 1-1. One, one. While El Ismail drew their last game, they lost, they drew, they lost, and they also won against Haras L. Head to head between themselves. To me, this head to head is not solid enough, but Al Alil are good and they are informed. This is just a similar case as of Elfsborg. So we have Al Alil winning 0 1, they played 0 0, they played 1 1, Al Alil won 0 4, and they played 1 1. To be honest, if you are following this head to head, it will not convince you that Al Alil is going to win. But based on Al Alil's recent form, Al Alil are doing well. And one of the main reasons why Al Alil should win this game is because of where they sit at the table. They have um um their point in the table is let me look at their points. Their point in the table is 69. Why Pyramids is 67. I know the game's difference is there. Pyramids has played 31 games while Al Alil has played 27, but it doesn't mean Al Alil need to win every game they can win because if they keep losing or if they start losing, I mean or if they start messing up, it's going to affect um, Al Alil. So every game for Al Alil now is very, very important. They are focused on the league. They have nothing again to play, no CAF Champions League. They are focused on the league now and they're looking forward to win the league once again. So Al Alil should be able to pick up the win in this game. So that's my prediction Al Alil to win at full time at 1.30 odd. And this game is not going to have a lot of goals. Al Alil should be winning either 2 0 or 3 1. The next game is from the Argentina Liga Professional in which you have Godoy Cross versus Platenes. My prediction here is the home team in which is Godoy Cross to score over 0 0.5 goals at 1.28 odd. Looking at the table, Godoy sits at 9th position while Platen sits at 14. 
Godoy has played 22 games, winning 9, drawing 6 and losing 7, scoring 28 goals and conceding 24. While their opponent, which is Platens, has played 22, winning 8, drawing 5 and losing 9, scoring 23 goals and conceding 25. Automatically, based on what I've said now, these two teams are good in goal scoring and conceding at the same time. At home, Godos has played um, 10 games, winning 6, drawing 3 and they just lost 1 at home. Why the away team has played the away team has played um ten games at away, winning three, drawing one, and losing six, scoring nine goals at away and conceding fourteen. Automatically, when these teams are at away, in which is platins, they struggle. So looking at their last five games they played, let's look at their last five games they played. The last five games that um, the home team played, in which is Godos Cross. They won three, lost one, and drew one. And in the last five games they played, their recent games, they've scored at least one goal. Coming to the away team, the away team has lost two and won one also. So, let's look at their head-to-head. We have Plantez winning 2-1. They play 2-2, 3-1, 1-1, and 1-1. Automatically, there is a possibility of both teams to score because their head-to-head has proven it. And Godot's cross at home in their last five head-to-head meetings, they have scored at least one goal. And the Godot's cross should be able to come out with the win in this game because they have been in more good form compared to the away team. And the Godot's cross are good at home and they have good goal-scoring record at home. So my prediction is the home team to score over 0.5 goals at 1.28 odd. You can also go for home win or draw. It's very possible. So, guys, that is all for today's games. The booking codes are on your screen. And most especially, ensure you stick wisely. You can edit these games to your satisfaction. It's up to you. I'll keep on doing my best to ensure success for each and every one of you. I will see you tomorrow with another two odds like this. I will pray our winning form continues. So, ensure you show me your support by liking the video and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join my Telegram because the link is pinned in the comment section. Take good care of yourself and God bless you.